Whoa. Welcome to Johnny Barbecue. We've got dogs on the menu. <laughs> okay, they're done. They're done. No, they're not. Welcome to Johnny Barbecue. On today's menu, beer root. I said beer, didn't I? Welcome to Johnny Barbecue. On today's menu, root beer, bratwurst, and sautéed onions. Let's get grilling. Well, spring is finally here, and that means it's time to break out the grill. But before you do, there are a few things you need to consider before you start grilling. What kind of grill do you have? What kind of tools do you use? Lighting the charcoal and seasoning. Well, we're going to address all those issues today. We're going to address all those issues. <laughs> so the first thing, the grill. What do you choose? You know, you can go to Walmart and you can find just about anything you want to buy. The sky's the limit there. I recommend the Weber grills. They're, they're a little more expensive than the Walmart brand, but they have a, a removable lid, first of all, which is great because it gives you plenty of surface area to work with on the grill. Next off, they're, they're built really well. They, uh, they'll last for years as long as you take care of them and keep them clean. Um, second of all, they're, they're highly portable. Uh, these little 14 and a half inch grills are, are great for, for days at the, at the lake or the ballpark or wherever you happen to be. Next, we're going to address charcoal. Personally, I use the natural stuff. I love it. It lights quickly, burns for a long time. If you need to add more, it lights right up. You just throw it on top of the, of the coals. Um, plus, there's no chemicals. I, you know, Kingsford, they're fine, but for me, it's the natural stuff. Now, how do you light that charcoal? Personally, I use a vertical charcoal starter device such as this. It's basically just a tube made out of metal that you use newspaper, not lighter fluid, to light the stuff. The benefits to that, you don't have to worry about buying lighter fluid. And you don't have the lighter fluid taste that's commonly associated with lighting your charcoal with lighter fluid. Lights quickly, burns hot, natural stuff. That's my choice. tools. Tongs are the lifeblood of any barbecuer. Get a good pair. Don't don't buy a cheap pair. You know, the things you get as a Christmas present, most of the time they're junk. So go to your local store, buy a good pair. Something else to consider. Now, do you use a fork or do you use a papa's hook? This this dude right here will work for anything. Stick it in there, grab your meat, throw it on the grill. The only other tool that I can really recommend is a good metal spatula. For burgers, it's invaluable. Last but not least, the grill brush. Face it guys, you gotta keep the grill clean if you wanna keep your meat clean. Another option, do you use hickory or mesquite when you smoke some meat? <laughs> Something else to consider is a pan. Uh, you know, I know it doesn't really have anything to do with barbecuing, but it's, it's nice to be able to saute and boil things uh, that you can't really do on a grill. So keep that in mind. Bamboo skewers. I know a lot of these gift set, barbecue sets you get for Christmas contain metal ones. Personally, I like the bamboo. Uh, you can soak these in water if you'd like. They're invaluable, especially when shrimp season comes around. So when it comes to seasonings, keep it simple. 
if you're really going to elaborate on anything, do it in a marinade. But as far as dry seasonings go, salt, pepper, Creole seasoning, those are the only three things I use. Canola oil. This is great for when you have kebabs, vegetables that you want to keep from burning. Canola oil has a higher burning point than most oils, so that's the reason for that. First thing we're going to do, take a little Creole seasoning. We're going to doctor up our bratwurst here. Just give them a little slight dusting of Creole seasoning. Mmm, don't those look good? Now the secret when dealing with bratwurst is to sear the brats, keeping in that nice natural juice. Now don't be alarmed if you see a lot of smoke and flame. What we're doing right now is we're searing the brats. We want to keep those juices inside. See, look at that, look at that nice color. This is going to give our brats a nice crispy skin, but they are still raw. So we're going to move them over to our pan just for the time being. Because we don't want to, we don't want to overcook these. Now we're going to let these heat up, saute, and cook down. These are going to cook down by half at least. The trick is to cut these into rings. Um, they they're easier to deal with on your bratwurst uh, as a ring than if you were to dice them up or anything like that. All right, now as you can see, our onions are caramelizing nicely. We're taking advantage of the heat we got here. You know, don't, uh, don't waste it. All right, so we've got our onions caramelizing nicely. We don't want to cook them all the way because they're going to boil some in the, uh, in the root beer secret sauce. So go ahead and add a can of your favorite root beer. And what we're going to do is we're going to let this come to a boil and then we're going to add our bratwurst back to this to uh, cook them through. You don't want to eat raw pork, that's never good. But it's also going to help keep the bratwurst nice and juicy. Now that our onions and root beer have come to a boil, we're going to put the bratwurst back into the mix and we're going to let these cook and uh, get nice and juicy. There's going to be a lot of flavor and the onions and the root beer, it's going to be nice. I really like using uh, like a Shiner Bach or something with this in reality. TV land, it is what it is. All right, so through the magic of television, our bratwurst have boiled for five minutes and they're ready to be thrown on the grill to get, get crisped up. And you know, the, the main thing with uh, bratwurst is uh, keep, them, keep them moving, don't, don't let them burn. Nobody, nobody wants a burnt weenie. Now how I like to top this delicious bratwurst is put it on our heated bun, gather up a few of the nice sautéed onions in our root beer sauce, and enjoy. I'm Johnny Barbecue. Mmm. That's good.